Hello and welcome to episode 2 of the Crusader Kings 2 Vassal Tutorial. We're still Count Conrad, we're only like two months into the game because we spent most of the first episode paused, but that's how it goes when setting up these grand strategy games. Whether roleplay focused like Crusader Kings or war focused like Hoi, though Hoi's not quite so bad because there's always a lot of waiting time in the beginning. Crusader Kings 2 and EU4 are probably the biggest, uh, in terms of how much time you start before you actually unpause. Now, we are at war here with King Philippe of the France. Who oh, is 15. Good kid. It is, if you take a look, the Holy Roman French de Jure War over Zealand. So, on the left, we have the HRE. That means Kaiser Heinrich IV is the one who started the war. And King Philippe is defending. And the contested title is the County of Zealand, which is up here. It is held by France. And if we, it says du jure, because if we go du jure kingdom, we're going to du jure, yeah, sorry, not du jure duchies, du jure kingdoms, it is part of the kingdom of Friesland over here. Phrygia. Not Friesland, Phrygia. Friesland is a duchy. And that means that our du lovely emperor thinks, I should own that. It's also, if you see white, it is part of the du jure empire of the HRE, which means the HRE fully believes it should own that land because he is the emperor and that is his land. You see that quite often. It's an easy way to go to war. But we're going to unpause. We're actually going to speed up a bit more. Because we can't do too much until we get kids. Oh. Speaking of kids, our lover is pregnant. So it will either... Our cousin may think it's his child. And there we go. Our wife is now pregnant. Give us a genius son, my dear. There's pregnancy. She's praying. All right, so... Do with the Holy Fury, we got a whole bunch of new events for pregnancy. So the pregnancy has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual tastes. Most of what she asks for dinner nowadays ranges from mildly unsetting to positively revolting. Still, scholars do agree that a pregnant woman's craving should always be accommodated. The, now that I'm currently pregnant, which there was an announcement on my Twitter, I am 13 weeks pregnant as of tomorrow when I'm recording this, so I will be past that when this video goes live. Uh... A quail's leg, a hare's head, and a fish's eye. They sound disgusting to me. Utterly disgusting. I have had cravings, but not for anything really weird. I think the weirdest thing I've had cravings for is pickles, but I like pickles. I've always liked pickles, so it's just I like them more right now. <laughs> oh, joys, joys. Happy, happy, joy, joys. All right. So we could prepare a quail's foot, which would cost us a gold. We could get a hare's head, which costs us a gold. Or we can get a fish's eye, which costs a gold. Or we'd say no, which is the chance that she gets stressed. When someone is stressed, they have minus fertility, minus health. And that's not a good thing for us to have for our wife, because if she dies before the baby is born, ouch. And we also lost 100 prestige for her. So, you know, she, she's kind of precious to us. We'll, we'll give her a hare's head. How's that? Enjoy your hare's head. The pregnancy has weighed my wife, Elbring, much more talkative and cheerful than usual. She never misses the chance to chat with everybody, anybody with an earshot. Unfortunately, most scholars agree that a pregnant woman should spend as much time as possible resting in a dark room to avoid giving birth to a sickly child. Yeah, well, your scholars are totally wrong, but, uh... Let's, uh, I mean, wait, the thing is, we give her secluded rest, she gets plus health. Probably because she's probably unlikely to catch a cold, like I did at PDXCon. Sure, we will give her the extra health because we don't want her to die. It does cause her to lose two stewardship, which is not the best for us because she has 14 stewardship and plus seven of that is going towards us. See, spouse gives us plus seven stewardship and then we get three more from our counselors. So that's actually pretty good. That's our state level, which affects our income. If we click here, see our income is 18.51. That's pretty darn good. We're only paying out five ducats to our liege. We're doing pretty well. We're also greedy, and then our stewardship skill, plus 30%. That's a pretty good bonus in terms of income, but fine, we'll do that. And, oh, yeah, she went down to 12. Oh, but we're still getting plus 7. That That's not right, but okay, game. We'll go with that. Rest in the dark has really helped my wife calm herself and clear her head. She looks in much better health and ready to deliver a strong child. Just say hope. All thanks to such a simple remedy. Yep. She should be only giving six. Oh, well. 
It's good tradition to have some gossip around a pregnant woman in order to keep her calm and distracted from the tribulations of this delicate time in her life. Zelbrick's husband is my duty to provide her with the support she needs. So we only have two options here. We would have a third option if we had female family members who are adults and living in our court. So if we had sisters or daughters or anyone such as that, then we would have a third option which would cost us no money. So we can have some maids dispatch, which gains us piety. She gains more health. She likes us better. We spend 10 gold. Or she doesn't need any one, and we lose piety. We'll spend the 10 gold on our wife. Because we need a genius son. Um, look at this. We had a daughter with, um, though our cousin thinks it's his daughter. It seems my dalliance with Nest has resulted in a child. Fortunately, Heinrich thinks little Ida is his. So we could rename our child. We could pick a name after mother, grandmother, random ancestor. When I do stream this, I do tend to name people. And actually, I do need to go grab a name. Because... No, I will save the names for my own children, but I will grab names. I mean, technically she's her own child, but nobody knows that, so shh. Now, if you do really want bastard children, we'll give her duty. Uh, we had a daughter with a hair lip. Oh, as I was saying, if you really do want bastard children and to be able to legitimize them, seduce someone who's not married okay because then the child will always be a bastard and everyone will know it's your bastard and you can deal with that and make your child very visible or make your child legitimized or not okay but what we're saying here we do have a daughter I will name her after one of my lovely patreons first up on the list We'll go with Augustus. Oh, if I can spell correctly, apparently I can't spell. There you go, Augustus. You're our daughter with a hair lip. And we will also train you in thrift like your older sister. In the potential that you could end up in charge. Though seduction would not be so great for her because she already has the minus 10 attraction opinion. But see, that is a negative congenital trait that just kind of came out of nowhere. Because none of our ancestors have had it that we can see. At least no immediate. Not that that's how it works in CK2. It only matters if the parents have it. Hopefully that'll be changed in CK3. We did learn quite a bit about how the portraits will work, which are movable 3D models. But as of right now in CK2, that's how it works. Hopefully, we still have a chance for a genius son. All right, as is tradition, my wife Elberg underwent her churching after recovering and cleansing herself from the recent pregnancy. Unfortunately, her mood was not improved by taking the Holy Communion. Perhaps some old sin is still weighing on her soul. She must deal with this problem on her own. So if we were actually playing as the woman who was pregnant, we would have more options, but we don't. So she is now stressed, which is not good at all. Not good at all. Oh, and our brother had a daughter, Hedwig. Hello, Hedwig. Why don't you also, why don't you learn duty? Uh, duty leads to a straight up, like, uh, stewardship education. Oh, our wife would like a good name. So we can name her as the fairest of Luxembourg, and she likes us by 10 more for 60 months. Um, we lose 50 prestige, we name her as the handsome, we name her as the pest, which makes her dislike us, or we just ignore it. But you know what? She's our wife. She is the fairest of Luxembourg. No one can compete with her. And we are at war with Upper Lorraine. Did your war over Verdun? Ooh, he's trying to take our liege's capital land from him, because if we look at de your duchies, the duchy of Laura Lorraine is just this little bit. An upper Lorraine wants the land. Interesting. Upper Lorraine. You have two sons. You have a daughter, but she's only two. We need a son. We do need a son. With all these troops walking around up there. Oh, our lover's with child again. Should we go seduce someone? 
Let's see who's in our court, actually. Let's see if we can get a bastard. Uh, search our court. Beep. Oh, I would like to see gender women married. No. Only our children. <laughs> and this lady. She's a courtier. Why don't we seduce you? So, I shall bring all my seduction skills to bear on Clementia until I have her wrapped around my finger. We shall... She will be mine. Uh-oh. Oh, so Heinrich, our cousin, now knows about our affair with his wife. And you see this red around his name? That means he is now our rival. He hates us. Because we cuckolded at him. And the purple around here means she's our lover. How embarrassing. And our wife is pregnant again, genius son. All right, I'm attending a festive outing with Clementia. Unfortunately, half the court is also here, and I've ha I'm having trouble deciding ha getting any time alone with my amorous quarry. So we can seek an ally, leave her a note, or flirt with her discreetly. We will leave her a note. All of these can lead to positive or negative things. Oh, here we go. I've waited for hours by the stream, hoping that Clementia would be able to shake her friends and chaperones to meet me. But the sun is about to set. She is clearly not coming. So we can tire and stop seducing her, or you don't give up that easily. Ooh, I sent Clementia a beautiful necklace and covered her room with wildflowers, but I've heard nothing back from her. It could have been worse. Oh, our wife! I could scarcely believe it, but the pregnancy has made my wife Elric look more beautiful than she ever was. Whenever we are in the same room, I can hardly take my eyes off her, so we can better make a move, we lose some piety. There's a chance that we become lustful and she likes us more. And, or we could have a chance of becoming chaste. So chaste is a virtue. Virtue is a great thing, but we're not a very nice man. We're arbitrary. We're greedy. And we're stubborn. The only good thing about us is we're diligent. We work very hard at stealing money from people. <laughs> so I don't think we'd be chaste. We would go for lustful. Let's, let's try for it. We failed to get lustful, but she does like us a little bit better now. Flattering nickname, touched. Get flattered. Attending a festive outing with Clementia. Oh, it's the same one again. Uh, leaving a note. Sorry, seeing an ally among her friends. Oh, found Countess Elbrig the fairest of Luckenberg sympathetic to my romantic cause. Oh, game. She and Clementia had chanced upon me by a nearby stream, and the three of us have had a great time. Till she is falling for me, but for she barely knows her friend leaving, and leaned to whisper in her. So our wife is helping us seduce this lady. All right, wife. I guess because she's like, I'm pregnant. How far is she? If she's in the first trimester, she definitely does not feel up to uh, doing anything, especially between the nausea, the fatigue, the heartburn. It's, it's not good. It's not good. So maybe she's like, yes, husband. I know you think I look very nice right now. I'm flattered. But but go sleep with this woman instead. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. So we have a chance to make confess our love, make a lewd suggestion, or quote love poetry. If she was lustful, make a lewd suggestion like always works. Uh, it depends on the other. She's kind of meh across the board. Let's just make a lewd suggestion. Oh, there we go. Clementia and I spent a long time making love in the water and on the warm cliffs above. When we returned to the main party in the evening, grinning and squeaky clean, we found that we'd been looking for us. Tents came rushing and more than a few eyebrows were raised in speculation. Hey, don't worry about it. My wife helped me seduce her. <laughs> so we can love her and leave her. We let our love grow. Let's get a little lover. Let's let our love grow. I can only imagine how Ness must feel. As if being unable to publicly declare our feelings for each other is not enough, she now must lie about the fruit of our love. So we can visit her, even though, you know, everyone knows she's an adulteress. And gives her some more health, or be too dangerous. Let's, let's go visit her. And you guys are fighting. Hey, we have a nephew, Burchard. Hello, Burchard. Why don't we train you to struggle? Oh, and Clementia has just informed us that she's pregnant with my child. We're going to have lots of babies. Um, let's go actually take a look. Search all for ladies. Join court. Yes. Adult. Yes. Not that it really matters. 
Oop, there's one of the worst ones. Imbecile. You don't want that tray passing on. There's no one here with a congenital trait that's a woman that would join us who's not married. That's sad. Just hoping for a, a good wife. Well, we can invite another court lady to our court. Uh, invite to my court, please, and then I'll seduce you. Up, oh, we have a bastard son named Morfar. So we have the choice to legitimize him, which would make him our heir right now. We are still hoping for that genius son from our wife, so we're not going to do that. So we can acknowledge him as ours, so everyone knows he's our bastard, but he is not actually part of our direct family. In CK3, this will be different because when we make him our ba we acknowledge him, if he goes on to get married and found his own children, he'll make a cadet branch of our dynasty. Uh, at least that's what the devs implied when we spoke with them. Or we can denounce the child, and so he has no father, and that makes uh, his mother and himself, they all hate us. And everyone hates us for that. You know what, we will acknowledge him as ours right now. We're not going to legitimize him. As long as we are alive, we can always choose to legitimize him later. He is Welsh, though, which is a problem. So we're going to go heritage focus. Which means he will focus on assimilating our culture. He must be raised as a proper German. He is Welsh because he's a bastard and his mother is Welsh. That's how that works. Oh, and she joined our court. We would like to stish you, Ofa. I shall bring... She will be mine. It'll be great. Oh. I arrange for a scented love letter to be left on Ofa's pillow in an attempt to woo her, and it seems to have struck true, for she has left one on mine confessing her attraction to me. Woohoo! Time to up the ante. We have another daughter. She looks different because she has the uh, Welsh portrait. Alrighty, next up we have. Let's see. Ooh, we have Gagao. There you go, good girl. I am naming these after my patrons who are on the list. So if you are interested, follow the link down in the description below. All right, I managed to chance upon Ofa alone in the kitchen in which she came down for her usual late night snack. We've talked and laughed for hours and I can tell the attraction is growing. Hoping I've read it correctly, I lean into whisper in her air. She is lustful, let's make a lewd suggestion. I sure know how to cajole women. Oof and I spent the night together making sweet, illicit love in her bed. I snuck off on the wee hours, leaving the court clueless, I hope. Let's uh, let our love grow. No, she's purple. Oh, our other lover. I know what you're doing with my acquaintance, Ofa, you scheming scatterbrain. However, I understand the flesh is weak and would be willing to keep quiet about an affair for a small donation. So, one of our lovers, who's currently pregnant with our child, found out about our other lover. And is now blackmailing us. All right, honey, we'll give you some gold. Just, just be quiet. Oh, my lover Ofa is just proving that she's pregnant. Good job. So this land got stolen by the Duke of Upper Lorraine. It's not our land anymore. One thing we could do, or look at that. We only have 469 troops though, which is pretty bad. If you hover there, it tells you. And if we look at our neighbors, they all have more troops than we do. Unless we had someone who's a good military commander. I mean, she has less troops. She has a non-aggression pact with our cousin. The Duke of Flanders over there. No one in our duchy has less troops than us, except for her. He even has a K 1k. Oof. Oh, because he has two provinces, that's why. The reason I'm looking at this is because if we had someone we had a good feeling we could beat in terms of troops, we could go here to our Chancellor, who's pretty pathetic. Oh, there's a Heinrich here, who is 18. Yes, Heinrich, you can be my Chancellor. Now we could use him to fabricate a claim. Anywhere that's green, we can choose to fabricate a claim there. And then if we got the claim, we'd pay money and we could go to war. But 
we can't really do that. So we're just gonna leave him performing statecraft. And we also have a marshal whose D trick is a little bit better. What he's doing is red new maintenance cost, horror maintenance cost, none of them helps. We approve our commander. We're gonna actually tell him to train troops, which should upgrade our troop count a bit. Our steward has a three. Should have looked at this earlier, but we got distracted. Uh, we're gonna make a Herman here, because he's only he's got seven, he's better. And what he's doing is he's possibly improving our demands. There's not much chance of that. So this is bad. So our spy master's our cousin who hates our guts. We're gonna make our wife our spy master, which is technically not the best thing to do most of the time. Because if we look here, state intrigue, we only get plus 10 from our counselor. We don't get the bonus from our wife anymore because she is our counselor, our spy master. But she likes us a little better than, you know, the man we cuckolded. And we have our court chaplain. Uh, we could send our court chaplain to the Pope to make the Pope like us better, but the Pope kind of hates us. Just really hates us. The reason you may like the Pope, you may want the Pope to like you, is if someone like, let's say, she's here. We could try and request a claim if we had the piety. And because there's a woman ruling the land, the Pope's more likely to give it to us. Give us the claim. But again, we'd have to have more troops to go to war with. Oh, and uh, you see how that just jumped to 481? That was because we put our marshal down here training troops. He's training troops, so there's more troops. If we can save up some money, we could also upgrade some things. Levy size, tax income. It's actually a good one. We're going to drop 71 gold on our castle walls to get more taxes, more levy, and the foot level increased. Oh! A daughter was born to... Oh, so we're also just gonna acknowledge her as mine. And we'll give her a dutiful education. So we've got a lot of daughters. <laughs> a lot of daughters. And we will visit our lover again. Oh, I've had my eye on a feisty young scholar made with huge intellect. For some time now, though she skillfully dodges the attentions of every boy and graybeard at court, I have her blushing furiously whenever I gaze into her eyes. Seduced and wrapped around my finger, this sharp lass could be very useful. So we can keep her as her mistress. So she becomes as one of our lovers here. We could better make her mind what a spy she'll make, which gives us more intrigue and plot discovery chance, which isn't bad. Or we can just do better. I think we'll make her a maidservant lover, which puts her right here. And we'll get a little bit better intrigue. Oh, but now we have another daughter. We have a strong daughter. Hmm, well, you're strong. We're going to legitimize her. So you see, it changes. She's now a legitimized bastard. Yep, you must attempt to save her. Means we will rename her since we made her legitimate. Next up on the list, we have... Do, do, do. Hardo! Hardo laugh. I was, think I say your name wrong. Uh, I do have the access to people's real names, but I prefer not, so I pick their Discord name. Which is attached because they get a special role in the Discord. Alright, that's better. And. Okay. We will give you a. I'll give you a dutiful education. Yeah, I can see improvements in the little heart off. My daughter still seems worried. Uh oh. She's still sick. Oh. And our leash has changed the laws so he can imprison people. If we look here at laws, which we haven't looked at at all yet, he has changed it so. Well, we don't have access to that one, but if we click on the duchy. There we go, that's what he did, sorry. Ruler imprisonment. So the council doesn't vote on imprisoning people. The ruler gets to decide. He's trying to lower the power of the council. For us, it's the same. Yep. We can change some other laws. Uh, most people are against these law changes. So 
we're just gonna sit on them for now. Totally gonna sit on them. But, speaking of that though, it is the end of the episode. Remember, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like or subscribe to the channel for more. Bye. Bye, y'all.